Hello the people, Mpage here, and today, because it is the Christmas time, we are making a relaxing video where we play Wheel of Fortune again. Why did I say we? I'm here by myself. Now, I hope some of the purists in my audience will forgive me for using a modded memory card and a hard drive to load the game. Because, to be honest, I do own the game, but the thing is, I load it from the hard drive to improve load time. And that's why I load it the way I do. Plus, it uses less power and makes less noise compared to loading from the disc. Alright. Mm. Atari... Making Wheel of Fortune games. I never thought I'd see today, even though I've seen the day a million bajillion times because I really love Wheel of Fortune, in case you couldn't tell. I have made videos in the past where I play Wheel of Fortune on the channel, but I don't think most people on the channel watch those videos. They're mostly for mellowing out, and people come to my channel for like fun and excitement, I think. Or they just come to see me make an ass of myself. Hi, folks. I'm Charlie O'Donnell. Hi, Charlie O'Donnell. In a second, but first, we have a little business to take care of. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like it. Okay, normally I would play uh, the solo mode and go until I run out of free spins. But because I want more time to mellow out and get things off my chest, I'm going to do it the traditional way of taking turns. Which means we are going to play a normal game. Actually, let me just check my uh, career stats first, because I think I have enough for a tournament game, right? We got all kinds of fun stats for you. Three games and I th somewhat over 300 grand. I think I have enough for a tournament game. One player, you can play a game with a time limit or a game with a fixed number of rounds. What do you want to do? As I have said on multiple occasions, I prefer playing the console editions of Wheel of Fortune because the computer versions of Wheel of Fortune, ex with the exception of the first one, so mostly the second and third one, seem to have this thing where the computer players run on a pattern, and once you figure out the pattern, the computer players don't seem to be much of interesting people to play with. So let's start the game now. I like my AI to be randomized or at least have some semblance of skill. Which is why I like the Jeopardy games as well. Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune tournament. Each of you must be excellent players to have made it this far. Congratulations! Let's get to our game. Let's take a look at our first category. Same name. Player one, over to you. Let's just uh, spin the wheel already. Thankfully, we don't have to bring our own white things because this is digital. <laughs> 300. All right, uh, let's try straight up T. T is always my first go-to letter when it comes to these games. Let's try buying a vowel. E. Just the one E. <sighs> of course I am recording this before Christmas because your boys got to edit videos, but by the time this goes up, it will be a relaxing and fun Christmas that we are enjoying together with the peace, love, and good vibes. One S. Uh. Uh. It sounds like my thoughts at times can be a bit weirdly paced and unorganized, but that's because I'm trying not to edit this down so much to have like a more natural flow a pair of O's. cuz like if it were my normal content with like my face on the screen I probably do random jump cuts and jokes and weird stuff but this is supposed to be a relaxing video 
a video that you can chill out by the campfire and watch with your family. No. Well, there goes that vibe. <laughs> Ah, uh, the computer players. Even though they are just AI bots voiced by actors, you can just feel the personality gleaming off of them. I think I'll spin, Vanna. I'd like an N, please. A pair of N's for you. Anyway, um... I don't really know how my Christmas is gonna be. Again, this is recorded in advance, but it's been kind of rough this past month. Like, my family and I, we were totally prepared to put 2020 behind us and just enjoy the holidays as close to normal as possible, but the thing time, about that sorry. is we've had so many things go wrong. Like, we got sick. Shut up, phone. We got sick. We got snowed in. The power went out twice. We got a busted fridge. No water for a day. Like, anything... It felt like at times that anything that could go wrong did go wrong. And I was starting to lose faith in the holiday. But by the time I'm recording this, it's the week leading up to Christmas. Which means anything can happen. We're still holding out optimistic hope. And we're not letting our peace, love, and good vibes die without a fight. Like a non-violent fight, what? to be more specific. Some people, after I made that, um, Nintendo, uh, trailer video, um, some people have been talking to me about, like, what Nintendo has been doing and, like, why it's good, why it's bad, what I should include in the video, what I shouldn't include in the video, people wanting to help me, but... Even though I really want to make this video, and I do want to make this video, I'm not making that up. The, the thing is, like, I'm scared of Nintendo because they've been doing a lot of weird and bad stuff lately. And I'm always worried that they're going to do more. Like, I'm not afraid of what they're going to do to me because I don't think they're going to do anything to me. Like, what do I do to them? But the thing is... I'm kind of afraid that if I were to make the video, I'd probably miss something because they keep doing more things. Wedding in hospital gown. Yeah, I saw the puzzle. The first of many in this video, I hope. You did it! Fantastic! It's like, Nintendo made some really bad moves. Check out how all the That's are doing easy to say, part. but it's hard to talk about all of them because every time you blink, they do more. It's weird. Let's get ready for the next puzzle. Nevertheless, I do want Let's to make the Nintendo video, but expect it to take a long time. Much like Enter the Multiverse 3, which will also take longer than I thought because I'm still waiting on some art assets and without giving too much away the uh person that i'm doing the episode with actually has a job now so he doesn't have time much time to himself to work on his own videos let alone my stuff how about an s yes two hope they help I'd like to spin One thing I've always theorized about this game in regards to the difficulty level is that if you play on tournament mode, 
their difficulty level on the AI is higher. Shame. Well, I can definitely Very see a correlation. Fine. I think it might just be a coincidence. I'd like to spin the wheel. Because that would mean that if you play with three human players, then nothing changes apart from the backdrop. I'll take H is in house. Nice move. There are two of them. Here you go. The prize is yours. I'd like to spin. The reason I saw the Wheel of Fortune being a Christmas tradition for this channel is because I wanted to put up something relaxing. Like, Can I, have a tea as in Tom? I always have like ideas of putting up something cool, awesome, and really out there in terms of production value when it comes to Christmas content, but I always end up disappointing myself because for some reason or another, it doesn't come to pass. But honestly, the real, the other reason, the main reason I started to make this a tradition was because last year when I was having a mental breakdown from an incident I do not wish to discuss any more than I have to, I didn't upload for a long time. And when I finally came back, it was Christmas. Player one, over to you. And I figured. I figured I need to relax, so I'll make a relaxing video, and I hope they enjoy it. And looking back, that was just so nice and fun and cool to do. I just wanted to do it again. V is in Vanna. One v. I should probably red dot my Discord for this video. I really don't want to give my audience too much of a distraction. The last video I posted on this channel, which y'all probably saw but probably didn't, is one that I filmed at Java Junction Gaming. And if you look in the description, I kind of sort of hint that I may or may not be filming there anymore. That's not really the store's decision as much as it is my own. Because, like... Apart from some stuff that happened in the store that I really do not want to disclose at this time, the other thing is, like... The main reason I was making the videos in the first place was for their Facebook page. So that we could bring more Yu-Gi-Oh players into the store. The reason they're even one. on my YouTube channel at all was because of a uh, agreement we had. Let's see how all our players are doing. I didn't ask for round. money for the videos because I enjoyed making them. All I asked was for permission to put them on my YouTube channel. So we agreed on one month exclusivity. Let's move on to the next round and another challenging puzzle. Here we go! Big money, because in this round, there's a jackpot going on the wheel. Let's see what our category is this time. Event. I like to think it works out because the people that care about the store get the videos first, and the YouTubers who are kind enough to wait get the video later on, but they get it in 4K. It's not because I favor YouTube or anything, but it's mostly because Facebook can't handle 4K and YouTube can. Can't help you this time. Sorry. Player one, over to you. Is it just me or are these computer players easier to beat than usual? T? Nice move. There are two of them. Like, after that third video, um, through a conversation that happened that I will not disclose the full details of, of I've been told not to post the videos to the Facebook page anymore, that instead I should just go through the private chat groups and just give them the YouTube stuff. 
Uh, but then, uh, the thing is, like, ah, oh, crap. Player two, you're up. The thing is, like, one of the reasons I was motivated to do this was because I liked Yu-Gi-Oh! and I liked promoting the store. But I don't really like promoting the store on my YouTube channel because I feel like it kind of hinders my quality of work. Like... Y'all might be arguing, Dude, you have the Humble Bundles, though, and you have the Amazon storefront. How come those don't uh, deteriorate your quality of work? Well, it's because when I do Humble Bundle and Amazon, I can pretty much do whatever the heck I want as long as it's not illegal. But suddenly when I'm making videos for the store, I'm suddenly put behind a filter. Sure, it's a filter of my own creation, but I, f but I feel like that's just. But I feel like the filter is standard for how these business kind of things work. Like, obviously, if I'm going to promote a community store that you can find in a neighborhood, I can't swear too much. I can't make too many obscure jokes. I can't be biased, or at least I can't, it's like, I try not to be biased, but something about the environment just tells me I have to be biased towards them if I want to survive. That's nothing on the people in the store, it's just the general yes, sir, vibe of, of the environment I'm in, if that makes any sense. That means that the rest of the letters are vowels. Buy or solve? It's like, when I'm at the store, I do feel like I'm having fun when I'm playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Or when I'm talking to people I know. But outside of that, it feels like I'm in a room full of Magic players. And I'm not saying that Magic players in general are toxic, but I feel like it's the same sort of toxic environment that would house toxic wow, Magic players. Player one. Again, not calling anyone out in particular. Let's see how everybody's doing after this round. I'm just speaking in general. The vibe makes me uncomfortable. But that's just me. That's just one man's opinion who has his own thoughts and emotions who doesn't directly correlate with anyone else. You can go to the store and feel different. Time for the next round. Good luck, everybody. This round, our category is... Title. I feel like... 2020 has been a bust for me. I won't lie. I feel just as bad as everyone else. I may feel worse, but I don't want to make it a competition. Because I've had plans for this year. Afraid not. Player two, you're up. I've had plans this year to move out, uh, finish my education, and get a decent job. But none of that happened. And y'all know why. It's because of the freaking thing that's happening. The thing that's happened in March and the thing that's still happening and the thing I can't say because YouTube will probably demonetize me if I say it. No! Uh. Player three, on to you. I don't believe it. That's a shame. Sorry, you lose a turn. It's like they're letting me have the turns, and I don't know why. But anyways, um... The reason, um... The main reason I stopped doing weekly videos after Crash 4, it's about time is because, like, it, I feel like Crash 4 wasn't the main reason, but it was almost pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, like, because it got to the point where 
I wanted to be creative, make more of my own type of videos, and let some of my ideas flow. But the problem is, the more time I spend working on it, I feel like I'm being double loaded by this type of work and workload because not only am I working on that project, but I'm also working on the weekly video, whatever it may be. Spyro, Crash, uh, M? What is this puzzle? No, player two, you're up. <laughs> Let's spin this thing. I figured this would be a good way to take some load off and allow me to be more creative and expressive in my work. F. Can't help you this time. Sorry. Player three, on to you. I think I'll spin, Vanna. I just hope y'all can understand the decisions I make behind the channel are mostly done because I'd like a why, please, Vanna. I care about my mental health, and I also care about the quality of my material, but most of all, I care about your enjoyment of my material. Because, like, I love expressing myself creatively through these videos, and I love making these videos for all of you. Uh, I like seeing people smile and laugh at me doing silly and stupid no. things. Player one, over to you. I'm honestly scared on YouTube right now because there's a certain video of mine that I will not mention that got the attention of someone else that I will not There's mention and they kind of showed that clip to their fan base and they're and they're coming out with like this white knight attitude cuz like I was critical of this one person let me guess 60s unbelievable there are 6 yep as I was saying, I was critical of this person, and apparently the fans of this person didn't like that. They think I'm an idiot, that means that and the the are vowels. I've seen the way drama works on YouTube before, and I'm kind of scared that those people come at me with death threats in the future. So I'm trying to avoid serious discussion as much as possible in hopes that you my voice terrific, doesn't trigger the people that I'm referring to. But that was a fun round. at the Let's same time, like, doing. if I'm trying to be, if I want to be creative and make enjoyable videos on this platform, I don't want to hide behind something that, I, that is false. Let's get to the next puzzle. I don't want to pretend I'm happy and silly all the time, time even though I love making happy, silly content. I want to be serious. I want to talk real. But now I'm afraid of talking Player real two, because I'm afraid it'll get me killed. I don't want to live that way no more. It's kind of the reason why I'm considering leaving Twitter. Because, um... Well, th there, I didn't see anyone with death threats on Twitter, but I've seen people be really right. toxic Give to my friends one. on Twitter for such stupid and insane reasons. Like, How about an S? Yes, my buddy Hope they help. has a Gotchaverse profile pic, and they're, they're giving him crap for it because there's people are assuming Gotchaverse community with, like, the worst people. But the problem with that is you only see the worst of Gotchaverse on our Gotcha Life Cringe or maybe some subsets of 4chan or something. But I know, I may not have been, I may not be in the Gotcha community per se, but I've seen enough about Gotcha content and Gotcha YouTubers that, that I know the general sense is that that's not what Gotcha's all about. Like, How about an N as in nanny? 
Gotcha is supposed to be for uh, really cool anime looking characters and putting them in the cool situations. I like seeing people do their impressions of videos and music with the gotcha. You can make almost anything with gotcha. Just look at the art style. It's so cute and so cool at the same time. It sure does break my heart that people are using it for bad things, but at the same time, we can't like those bad things define the community. We people did that to bronies. People did that to furries. And what it accomplished? Nothing apart from dividing us all. And we already have a president doing that, so we really don't need any more people doing that. Yes, there is an age. But I really don't want to get political, so I'll try and change that subject. Jay? Yes, one Jay. I'm hoping that for 2021, I can kind of change direction and be like more lenient on the type of content I produce. I hope I can get more attention, but at the same time, I, I want to make sure that... I want to make sure I don't compromise my integrity doing so. All I want for the new year... Wow, very impressive, player one. ...is for people to get to know me, That's get to know my round. content, Let's take a look at the get scores. to know the things I'm into, and like, give me a shot, you know? All of you played great, but congratulations, player one. You're in the bonus round. Wow, I won. Why am I not surprised? Welcome to the bonus round. There's some great prizes behind those cards. Just pick one, and good luck. And of course, I'm very thankful to all the people that got that helped me get to where I am today. The YRC, the Cyber Valley Entertainment, Here are the and R to S some extent, the Improbables as well. Now pick three more consonants. And a vowel. Uh, because if it wasn't for all these people and all these things happening, I wouldn't be here. And, uh, okay, I really don't know what this puzzle is, so I have to pick my three concepts of vowel quickly. D. M G A on a larb on a larf on a lark on a lark on a larp in a larp in a on a on a larry on a laru I in a I don't know in a lark, in a larb, in a larf. What's a larf? I don't fucking know. Uh, uh, in a, in a larb, in a lark, in a lari, on a laro, in a lari, in a laru, la, larb, lark, uh, larp. I don't know. On a lark. That was right. Oh, what does that even mean? <sighs> sorry, sorry. I just really don't understand this game sometimes. What have they won, Charlie? But uh, of the Pharaohs with this getaway fantasy prize. A cruise down the Nile. Beginning at Abu Simbel, you leisurely drift down river aboard a traditional sailboat. You'll also need to bring some I'm hoping that at at this rate that I can that by letting us all in the air. I can hopefully get all my stress and worries out before starting the new year fresh. And um You made a killing. Way to go, player one. Wow, I, no one else even laid foot on my score. Thanks for joining us on Wheel of Fortune. Bye bye. I would like to thank you all for watching this video and my content up to this point. Uh, stay tuned because sometime within the next week I'll also upload a video looking back at my content the past year. 
And that'd be nice for us to look at together, right? Until then, thank y'all for watching. And I'll catch you later. Peace.